Mm-hmm. Uh, Carolina was only one of two teams to offer me after the draft. It was here or Dallas. So I only had two teams, and uh, I'd met with Scott in Houston. We had dinner, so I had a relationship there, and I didn't, I hadn't met anybody in Dallas yet, and it just seemed like the situation was better for me to come here. Was it, were the other guys in the quarterback room uh, uh, a consideration at all, guys like Cam that you kind of learned under? Uh, yeah, I just think you know, there was a, like a ton of things going into consideration, and and Cam was in the and Cam being in the room was one of them, and just the quarterback situation in general was one of them. And I saw it as a place where an opportunity for me to grow, an opportunity for me to stick too. Did anything else at the Vrabel workout stand out? He said he was one of the first ones. Today. Yeah, he came through, and I mean he's intense as Mike Vrabel is. So <laughs> got up on the board and asked me why I got benched a bunch of times and a bunch of questions. So you can, it was a lot of fun. What, what <laughs> so, Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of things going back and looking at the film. I think the main thing was when we get down, I think that uh, the biggest thing I did wrong was I just tried to press too much, just try to make too, the, too big of a play. And I think Coach Rivera said that to me earlier too. And and uh, I think it's just stay within the play and just kind of practice what I preach and just execute within the play. I think that's what we've done a really good job of. And, and we were down a lot early. And I think that me personally and some other people on the team, we just kind of pressed a little bit. And so I think that starts with me. I just got to keep playing within the play, keep executing, and it's a learning experience, you know. When you're pressing like that, does that mean, like, looking for the big play to my hold it, like, waiting for guys to come over? Yeah, it's just, it's just not – I'm not thinking how I would normally think in, within the play. And so sometimes that means trying to force the ball downfield to get a spark while you can take the underneath stuff and just kind of – that's a defense where – you got to take what they give you because the downfield stuff is only going to come here and there. And so you got to take what they give you and you got to hit your shots when you can. And, and I didn't do that. You know, Kyle, obviously you can game plan only so much. And, and I know with a lot of pro sports, it's all about doing what you do best and you know, imposing your will. How much of this week is more about doing what you guys do well as an offense as opposed to game plan for the Tennessee Titans? I think it's the same way every week. I think it's a mixture of both. And I think we know our identity as an offense. And we know that we're going to come in with a good game plan because I think a good game plan is just as important as imposing your will. And then it's just like you said, we got to do what we do best. And we have to go back to our ways that we were those last four weeks where we were executing really well. We weren't hurting ourselves. And we were playing within the play, and our playmakers were making plays. And so, I mean, we just got to get back to what we were doing. Well, you said a number of times how you don't necessarily have time even to step back and sort of look at this experience and say, oh, you know, I've learned this or whatever. But mm -hmm. Do you, do you feel different at all? Like, like you have a better understanding of yourself from going through this process and like taking leadership and, and having to manage different responsibilities? Yeah, I think, I think you can always be learning through that stuff. And I think I try and as the weeks go on, I try and take more and more leadership on and I try and um, put more of that stuff on myself because the quarterback is the leader of the team. And, and so, yeah, there's learning experiences through that. But I mean, right now we're just taking it week by week and just, I mean, maybe at the end of the season I look back and and take a look on what I could have done better or wrong. But right now, it's just what could I do better on the field throughout that week? What did I make mistakes on so I don't make that same mistake twice? And then continue to take on more leadership. What do you see from the Titans watching them on film? What's the, what's their most dangerous aspect of the game? I, mean, I think they do a lot of things really well. I think they disguise stuff really well. I think they can play a lot of different coverages. They can play a lot of different fronts. They can play a lot of different blitzes. I think they're really well versed in all that stuff, which plays to their advantage. and. And they got a lot of good players. You know, I think you look at the scores over the past or over the whole season. I don't know if many, anyone scored more than 20 points or 25 points on them. So they're definitely a solid defense, and it's going to be another challenge this week. You went back and looked at the uh, review of the film and saw the Nick Bosa interception. I mean, that was an incredible play by an incredible athlete. What was what was your reaction just watching it on film again? I mean, it's an incredible play. It's just just bummed, you know, if I put a little more arc on that and get it over there to Reggie, it's a big play for us too. So, I mean, seeing it on the film, I was just like, what the hell, man? And <laughs> watching it on film, same thing. But, I mean, it's an incredible play by him. He was making plays all day. He's going to be a hell of a player. Kyle, being able to return home after a game like that, how, how nice is it? It's the first home game for a while. For you yeah, it's been good, man. I think we went to, what was it? We played in London. Then we had bye week, so people were traveling. Then we played uh, in San Francisco across the country. So it's been a lot of travel for us recently. So it's going to be nice to get home, play in front of the home fans, play in front of the home crowd, and 
just play here at Bank of America. We're excited. Do you feel like as a quarterback, you can obviously chemistry with wide receivers and pass catchers is incredibly important, but do you think chemistry with your offensive line is important as well? I think chemistry all around. I mean, I think it's different. It's a different relationship between you and your O-line because you're more reacting off of them. You know, you're reacting off of their blocks, off of what the blitz or the line's doing. It's different than timing with the receivers, but I think it's more importantly chemistry between the O-line itself. And I think we've had really good chemistry all year long. You, you've said before it doesn't really impact you when you have different guys shuffling around in front of you, right? No. I got faith in all those guys up front. That's good. Thanks, 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 Kyle. Kyle.